I wanted to study feng shui with him, and he was teaching me Chinese astrology. Then I asked him at one point, um, well, I really wanted to learn feng shui. And he said, well, that's what I'm teaching you. <laughs> so uh, it's all connected. It, it's totally connected. Because right. you have to know the person's um, astrological characters in order, for, in order for you to arrange their space. Because mm -hmm. based on the chart, you know how to align them, you know what kind of colors they need, et cetera, like that. So. And it's all about balance, balancing it's, elements? Or? It's about balancing elements. It's also about providing what they need as, as opposed to what's going to hurt them. OK. Because um, everyone, everyone is a, a separate individual. So um, you, might need, you might need one element that, um, but if, you give, if I give you a different element, it would, it would hurt you. Mm. So if you align a person the wrong way, you're actually depleting them. Right. If you align them the right, right way, they're, they're getting energy. Okay. So know. it's dangerous to mess around with if you don't know what you're doing. You have to know what you're doing. Right. But he did teach me that um, sometimes it's very good to arrange a person's space completely wrong so that um, it'll force them to change. <laughs> <laughs> he says if a person's really stuck in their life, arrange everything, right. everything to, to force them to change. Right. So to reset everything to yeah. zero and let them... I did that once. How'd that work out? Did... I saw the person again after I don't know how many months, and he said, you know what happened about, I don't know how long it was, maybe a couple of months afterwards, everything, everything collapsed. Like I lost my job, I had to move, and all of this. And he said, "But you know what? Um, I got into the best relationship I was ever in, and now I have a a, a really good job, and I'm really happy." So, <laughs> so in the end, it worked. It out. worked. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. So um, the door you said southwest. Yeah. So north, east. So okay, okay. There's there's one window on the north side and one on the south side. Yeah. But if it's on the north side, the window's actually looking out uh, northwest and southeast. So on what wall is your bed? The northeast wall? This is right here. <laughs> Under the window? Yeah. The windows to the back, you know, to the head of the bed and to the foot of the bed are not, are not necessarily the most desirable thing to have. Hmm. Especially behind, because it actually um, creates supposedly a feeling of insecurity. Oh, okay. It's never completely secure because you don't have a wall behind you. You could arrange to have the bed with its head on the wall. The head would then be on the, the northwest wall. If your vital element is metal, the northwest wall is perfect. When I'm actually over there, you know, I'll get a much better idea about the space itself. Mm. And then we can see is it, if it's possible. Coming up on Zodiac Feng Shui, we check in with Kurt Livy and Hampton and get to see Dorod's apartment. Before we get to Dorod's apartment, let's check in with Livy and Kurt from last week. They told us how moving could prove itself to be complicated. Having a baby comes with a long list of needs. We would uh, need an elevator, laundry, space, two bedrooms, somewhat affordable. So there are a lot of things for us to consider and I don't know, uh, daycare nearby, just a lot of things to keep in mind. And, I don't know if we would find something just as good and that would also allow us to have a community, you know, nearby. So, what do you think? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head over to the kitchen to see what Raphael has to say. The kitchen's in a good place. In the, in the whole geometry of the space, the kitchen's located well, because it's in the east. <laughs> the door's on the southwest so the kitchen's in negative space which is perfect the only thing i would say is that your sink and your stove are exactly opposite each other which shows fire and water in are in conflict they clash so i would put something green on the floor if you want anything on the floor or something green around you know in this area okay a green mat yeah yes. sounds good so the kitchen is in pretty good shape, but adding green would be the cherry on top. Now it's time to see what's what in the bedroom. The bed is aligned to the southwest, which works for both of you. Uh, only thing I would suggest, if you want to, is to put in the room a combination of red and white, or purple and white. Okay. More red. Pink doesn't work? Fire is Kurt's... Um, vital element so mm -hmm. you know pink is in the fire range but okay so it's purple and red okay i love it you do oh, yeah absolutely okay put, i like the color pink put pinks pinks and roses and reds and purples and i'm gonna regret this but <laughs> you could paint the room violet <laughs> i think the new pink paint will go lovely with the abundance of unicorns and ponies in the room Hampton led us across the hall to his bedroom where he could see his parents are close by from the safety of his crib. He sleeps here with the door open, Yes, right? he does. So um, he probably feels more secure because he knows that you're over there. Yeah, he always, um, he's always standing up, you know, when he gets up in the middle of the night or in the morning, he'll pull himself up and he'll see us, you know, either right. during the day or coming up to yeah. get him, so. Because if you have him, the, the door closed, or he's over there. Yeah, he sees nothing. Would, in, not in view of you, he would yeah. um, feel insecure, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this actually is, this actually for, the, at, at this point is the best position for him to be in. Yeah. To balance the room needs fire. Could you put like a little rose color rug down? Yeah. Yeah, he has a rug that is actually like blue and purple. It's like a monster rug. It's not purple. But... There's no purple. Here. No? The, the room's very cute. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's the only room that we put effort into. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Cool cat? 
So the only suggestion for Hampton's room is to add purple. This is one nursery with some good feng shui. Now let's get over to the Bronx to check out Darod's apartment. I've started playing with sewing machines around like seven. Um, my grandmothers and um, aunts, they've all been around sewing machines. A lot of them, that was their job. So it kind of, for me, it's natural. Fashion was it. Fashion has always been it. So um, I'm right now in a hard place with, you know, now that I am uh, into the industry. I've worked in the industry. I've designed for big people and royalty. I'm, I'm in a, um, a stuck moment and um, it just seemed like I'm not moving yet, but maybe I will. Your career element is wood mm -hmm. and that's green. Do you mm -hmm. like greens? Yeah, I like greens. Greens are pretty good. Dark greens. Um, dark green is actually very good for you. Because you're born in three wood year and the, the, the balancing the balancing element and color is four wood, which is dark green. Mm -hmm. uh, three, three wood is light green, mm -hmm. four wood is dark green, and dark green is like actually very good for you. Green against this brick would be very beautiful. Dark green on the walls would look good and be beneficial for Darod. His dog Bella was getting a little rambunctious, so we had to lock her out of the bedroom while we checked it out. Okay, so this is my bedroom. Mm -hmm. And um, I, as you were saying, green. Uh, I was thinking that painting wall. this wall green. Yeah. Um, I was also I would do, thinking this one too. And I would do the boards white. I would do different shades of green. If you just had green and white, it would like it wouldn't work. But if you had a deep green with a lighter green on three walls, mm -hmm. that would that would you know. Mm -hmm. What about storage? Because um, I know you need. You, I'm getting. You need it. This is why I got this going on here mm -hmm. because I'm figuring out what kind of storage piece I want, mm -hmm. and one of the storage pieces I did want, um, the measurements were off, and it cost an arm and a leg. If yeah. you had storage and it was organized, um, yeah, you would be more organized. I feel that way. You know. Yeah. So. I mean, it I seems was... like the campaign this year is to get the career going so that you can make a move next year sometime. So you basically may, you may have like a year and a half to, to put, you know, to, to live here. Mm -hmm. And if you got storage in that, it might cost money, but you would organize yourself and mm. it, it, would, um, it would propel you. Something about the negative space, of, like there, yeah. there's nothing there. It just feels so more calming to me. So I was thinking about that also because I also have to figure out a way to bring in my desk for like, you know, uh, sewing and, and, you know, my computer and I have that stuff coming actually soon. I would suggest possibly moving the bed over toward a wall. Last night I was thinking about if the bed, what would happen if the bed was on that side? On the north? What would actually... The door is closer to the north. Mm -hmm. So what you chose to do is put it to where the door, the, it's free of the door. Mm -hmm. The head the of the bed could be on this wall. Okay. Because the door is on east and this is in the west, mm -hmm. this, this room need, needs water element for the, room, for, the, for the apartment, which is black or deep green. Okay. All right. Um, but metal is vital element and, and mm -hmm. west is, is, um, is metal. Uh -huh. So actually this is really a good area for you. Um, money element for you is wood, which is green. So if you put, if you paint this room with a lot of green in it, it will, green it, it'll, it'll stimulate the, the feeling of money. Like, you know, you'll want it. it it'll make you hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry now. So Dorado will have to change the head of his bed, add green to his bedroom, and organize the clutter. We'll explore the rest of the apartment in a later episode. For now, I'll let the star of the show take her rightful place in the spotlight. Next time on Zodiac Feng Shui, we give a restaurant owner some advice to help stimulate business. Uh -oh. Come here, come here. No. Come here. 
No. No.